Hello, ladies and gentlemen, we are back with my second episode and the second part of my two months in the Succession series. We are back with GPW Glory Pro Wrestling. Um, we are coming back. Uh, we are coming off uh, my first ever GPW Ascension, where the main event was a number one contenders match between Nitro and Magnus. Nitro did win that after Magnus got intentionally disqualified and the world title match will take place this ascension. Yes, ladies and gentlemen, it will. So, let's get started, shall we? In our first pre-show match in a 70C class, the pre-show battle for good wrestling and decent reaction from the crowd, Ethan cut the throat and Magnus defeated the global, the global Alliance in 8.54 when Ethan Carter defeated Carl Carnage by pinfall with a sweet meat sizzler. Um, yeah, decent match. Magnus got an in-ring performance of 67, Ethan Carter 75, me and Carl both 57. No work improvements. And... Yeah, the minuses were for Ethan Carter for inconsistency, Magnus for inconsistency, and the announcing quality for low experience. Next pre-show match, 62C, Aaron Stevens defeats Amazing Red in 547 by Vinfor the Kubito Aket. Yeah, okay. Lack of psychology. Okay match. And our final pre-show match in a 67C+, plus, an extremely short pre-show match, Zack Sabre Jr. defeated Noam Dar in, in 4.58 by Pinfall Tiger Suplex. They have they had great chemistry, so maybe a future GPW Super Lightweight title match? You never know. Zack Sabre Jr. had an in-ring performance of 73, Noam Dar had an in-ring performance of 49. So let's get started with the main show, shall we? A video place hyping up Cody Rhodes vs Johnny Nitro, in that, which is our main event for tonight. The GPW Heavyweight title, 58C-. minus. This uh, got the show off to a strong start and got the crowd hotter. Great. The work improvements. Next segment. In our first match of the evening, in a 70C+, plus, in about that great wrestling and a decent reaction from the crowd, Alex Shelley defeated Chris Sabin and Ricochet in 604 when Alex Shelley defeated Ricochet by Ben of Wolven under underarm snap STO. This was a triple threat match to decide the number one contender for the GBW Super Lightweight title. Um at be the best. Chris Sabin seemed off his game. This match got the crowd hotter. Chris Sabin had an in-ring performance of 68, so did Alex Shelley. Ricochet had an in-ring performance of 62. Let how about let's pre-book the super lightweight title match. So we'll have Zack Sabre Jr., the first ever Super Lightweight Champion, take on Mr. Alex Shelley. Um, next segment. In a 39D minus, Chris Hero attacks Matt Jackson, one half of the Young Bucks, backstage and leaves him down and out. This is this must be once again part of Chris Chris Hero's plan or something. He just Seems to want to get noticed. He wants to prove that he's the best in this business, best in this company. And I guess Matt Jackson or even both the Young Bucks are his next target. Before it was, it was the Global Alliance. Pretty sure. In our next bout in the 69C Plus, Owen, one of our newest signings, PJ Black, in a battle of good wrestling and decent reaction, defeated Eric Young in 8.27 by a pinfall of a fast roll-up. PJ Black has debuted his fan favourite gimmick, he got an above average. PJ Black had an in-ring performance of 62, while Eric Young had 65. And in the road agent notes, you can see that Eric Young should be distracted as Colt Banner by Colt Cabana as the finish, but I accidentally put that the match should end with a decisive finish. Stupid me. Next segment, in a 72B minus, Aaron Stephen cuts a promo hyping up his upcoming match with Matt Seidel. He basically talks about how much of an imbecile Matt Seidel is, how much of a monkey or a spot monkey he is jumping around the ring for these people, for these fans, for, uh, for no reason at all. Aaron Stevens is getting better at his gimmick. The announcement quality lifted the segment and the commentary gave the segment a boost. But you're welcome, storyline advanced as well. 
and the main event gets a 75 B minus and an exceptional match. Cody Rhodes drew with Johnny Nitro in 1640 by pinfall. I know, following a double disqualification during the match, we also had saw Magnus run and attack Rhodes and also attack Johnny Nitro. So, Magnus ruining our main event here by attacking both men and causing the match to end in a double DQ. But uh, if they had great chemistry and it showed in the performance, there was a la definite lack of psychology. Cody Rhodes had an uh, in-ring performance of 77, Johnny Nitro had an in-ring performance of 80, and the GPW Headway storyline advanced with a segment. Johnny Nitro is improving his performance skills as well, and then we have the announcement saying that at Beat the Best, we'll be seeing Cody Rhodes take on Magnus and Johnny Nitro in a triangle match or a triple threat match. 60C, that should be our main event for Beat the Best. As you can see, I also signed Drew Galloway. Expect him make, to make a debut soon. Cody Rhodes, Johnny Nitro, and Magnus. And we end the show with a 72B minus. Very decent show. It increased our popularity in 11 regions. And yeah. Hope you enjoyed this episode. Please make sure to like, subscribe to me and everyone involved in the series. And also, if you want to be part of the series, comment down below. And you could do two months for us. You could book GPW for two months. Yeah. Bye.